George Washington Carver George Washington Carver was a renowned scientist, inventor, and educator. George Washington Carter was born into slavery in Missouri. George Washington Carver's father was killed in an accident shortly after he was born. George, his sister, and mother were kidnapped and taken to Arkansas. George Washington Carver was returned to the farm. He never saw his mother and sister again. George Washington Carver was returned to the farm sickly with whooping cough. As a child, he was always sick. Moses' wife gave George light work, such as dishwashing, laundry. George Washington Carver had a keen interest in plants. The family noticed that and taught him how to read and write. They soon gave him a Bible. George learned to memorize passages from the Bible. Black people were not allowed to attend public school in Diamond, Missouri, which was George's local school. George was determined to get an education. He traveled eight miles from his home to a black school until he eventually graduated high school. George was the first black student at Iowa Agricultural College, now called Iowa State University. At Iowa State, George studied agriculture and botany and graduated with a bachelor's of science degree in agriculture. African-American leader Booker Washington, the founder of Tuskegee Institute, asked Washington Carver to lead the agricultural department at Tuskegee Institute. George taught local farmers crop rotation, alternating cotton with peanut to replenish the soil. As a result, there was an increase in peanut production that led Carver to invent 325 products out of peanuts, like printer ink, dyes, laundry detergent, shampoo, face powder, wood stains. In addition to his peanut recipes, he also invented dozens of uses for soybeans, sweet potatoes, and pecans. Carver's work continues to influence the food and agricultural industry. George Washington Carver knew what it was to be poor. He could have made a lot of money by patenting his inventions, but sharing and imparting knowledge were more important to him than making money. George Washington Carver patented only three of his more than 500 inventions. George Washington Carver became very famous. The Thomas Edison offered him a yearly salary of more than $100,000 to join his staff. Henry Ford, the auto tycoon, also made George Washington Carver a generous job offer, but he turned down all the job offers and remained at Tuskegee. George Washington Carver often said that learning skills like farming was the key to unlock the golden door of freedom for African Americans. Money and material possessions were never important to George Washington Carver, but improving the lives of others was much more important to him. George Washington Carver's goal in life was to be of the greatest good to the greatest number of people. George Washington Carver died in 1943. He left his savings to establish the George Washington Carver Foundation. The foundation provides scholarships to students to continue with George Washington Carver's work. The George Washington Carver Museum is on the campus of Tuskegee Institute in Alabama.